the oil pressure problems with the oil is just, you know, it goes up and down in the gauge a lot. It's got new filters and oil on it, so I was looking up online and a few different people on there say it's the oil pickups and I found an out on Gumtree with a bloke selling a kit that's definitely got new springs or something to go in the bottom to hold the oil pickups up with their brake and seals and all that. So I'm just gonna do a quick video on how to do this. And hopefully this helps a few people out there with the 4JX1 turbo diesel. And uh, just, this is what I've got sending out. It's got all the new O-rings and two springs to go on the bottom of the oil pickups. This is a hydraulic diesel setup, so it has two oil filters and two oil pickups. So hopefully we'll see how this works and um, yeah, I'll forget to do some more video as we get through it. Here's the jackaroo now. Um, we have to undo those two bolts here and those two bolts over there. Pull that bar down and then we'll drop the oil and then I'll get back to you. There, there's a little spot. Old diesel oil, it's a lovely mix. And yummy. It comes with diesel oil. It's done about 3,500k, 4,000k, and it's a lovely colour. There's a lot of other people too on Jackaroos. Oh, look at on the internet and they ask, where are the oil filters? There is one there, and that's the Z600. And it's in a nice little spot. And then on the opposite side, up there. So we can actually get the camera up there. And yeah, up in the there is the Z79 one filter. So we have, the, we have the sump off now. This is the oil pickups. As you can see, there's some nice silicone inside that one while look at it. And there's a little bit of stuff inside that one a bit. But it's good to get them off and clean them anyway. Put new seals in them. That doesn't look too bad in here. Always a good thing to remember is those things there, nice rubber mallet and just gently tap it around the sump seal, the silicon, the way it bends your sump and it'll reseal really good. So we'll get them off now and we'll start doing the seals and springs on them and put some more videos to come up. So we still had oil pressure in this one but this is the main engine one. And it wasn't too bad inside it. It did have a cable tie in there. So, you know, I don't know if that's factory or not, but the cable tie in it. And as soon as I went to pull this O-ring off at the top, which is the seal, it just went bye. So it doesn't look like it's in too good a shape. So quite lucky I changed that when I changed it. I still had oil pressure and it was fine, made it's running beautiful. But I just thought I'd get this out of the way because well, okay, it sort of goes up and down here and there, it fluctuates a bit, so I wasn't happy with it. And I'm quite lucky I did change it, so. Yeah, I'll clean up that oil around there first. Try and stop it dripping anymore, because this wants to keep dripping. Okay, let's see how they go on. And that's what I'll do. So we'll just see if we get a bit of a look up in there.
that oil around there first. Try and stop it dripping anymore because this wants to keep dripping. Okay, let's see how they go. Oh. So we're all back together again. I've already done a quick start on it before. So I started straight up and we'll go again. That oil pressure is definitely going up a lot faster than what it used to go up. And it's sitting about six, just under maybe a little bit. Four actually is sitting in the middle. So, but it is brand new oil, so brand new oil does sit up a little bit. But it's definitely better. It's definitely better. So that's an improvement on the oil pressure. Hopefully this helps some people out with low oil pressure problems.